All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at RetroNAS and specifically we're going to install RetroNAS Cockpit. And that's a web based graphic inter interface that's nice and it acts as a central control panel for managing your RetroNAS system. So if that sounds good, let's get started. All right, so now that we're in our Unraid system, um, we just have to go to our VMs and then we go to RetroNAS and we'll just go ahead and we'll open that up. And then once it's open up, we'll just type in RetroNAS. And then again, you know, since we're having the default for everything, that's going to be RetroNAS. And, you know, again, for your own system, I recommend changing, uh, you know, your password and user ID. So here we are inside RetroNAS. And if we go down here to install, and we'll go down here and we'll look for Cockpit. So there it is. And we notice it's a web based Linux system manager. So again, that's just going to be the control panel for you can easily manage your um, stuff without logging into RetroNAS and going this way. You can just um, type into a web address. So we'll just go ahead and hit OK here. And then it just starts to install and it'll go through the entire process. And it's going to be really as simple as that. All right, so it looks like everything's installed now. And we'll just hit in order to continue. All right, so, you know, we're back. Um, just take a note of your IP address, which is my case, it's up uh, there, the 1921. And what we're going to end up doing now is we're going to go to back to previous menu. And then we're going to just going to exit out. And then we should be able to close this out. And if things go well, we should be able to go into our cockpit. So if you remember, um, our IP address was 192.168.0.0. Um, oh, sorry, 17. And then cockpit is actually on the port 9090. So we're just going to do 9090. And we'll hit enter. And it will give our connection as in private, which is OK. We'll just continue on, and there we are. We're inside um, Cockpit. So we can do RetroNAS, and then password again to RetroNAS. Um, again, yours will be different once you change it. And then we'll just hit Login. And then here it is. This is um, Cockpit. All right, so now that we're in Cockpit, we see this nice user interface um, right here. So we're in our regular mode. We can go up here to limited access or we can turn on administrative access here. So if I go ahead and click that, um, I can just type in my password and then we'll end there. And then like sessions, if you want to get like SSH keys, you can get them down here. Um, you know, use the following keys to authenticate to other systems. We can add the key. Um, I'm not doing that, so I'm just going to hit close. Just give me the option that it's out there. The next thing that we're going to go go down here, we'll look at the storage. And there's our storage information. So we can actually see additional information in here. Uh, same thing with our networking. Uh, we can look at our accounts. We can look at our services and then different information um, throughout here. And this is something you're just going to have to go through and look at and just to kind of get a feel of this. Here's your navigator. So you have like your folders if you want like a little GUI to get into your folders. Um, we have the applications running, which is networking and storage. We'll go down here, um, sensors. Not really sure what sensors. So if anyone knows what sensors to add or how to use that, um, just let me know in the comments below. Um, and down here we have the terminal. So if I wanted to run commands from the terminal like normal, I can. Um, the other thing I want to show you here, we use the IP address up here to get in, but we don't really need to do that because, you know, 
our host name is RetroNAS. So we could have just typed in RetroNAS colon 9090, and that's going to bring us in. So we can just do the um, not really, uh, RetroNAS. Retro -NAS. Okay. So we could just go in, you know, with RetroNAS using the same um, the host name instead of the IP address. So that's, you know, a lot easier, you know, for people. Usually that's what I recommend for people to do. Um, so if I go down here to the uh, last thing, software updates, uh, you know, I got 96 updates available, I'm including 31 security fixes. That's probably something I should do. So I'll just go ahead and hit install. Um, next, I'm going to install all updates. Applying updates failed. Failed. At, oh, because I'm like not in, um, because I re-logged in, I'm not in um, administrative mode. So <clears throat> I'll just put in the uh, password and just kind of install those in there. But that's pretty much it on Cockpit. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and um, I'll see you next time. updating.